So today we are making the smoked sausage and potato skillet recipe I found off of Pinterest. We will leave the link down below, but I'm going to show you guys the ingredients that we will need. So going to cook that over medium heat mm -hmm. okay. now we are going to cut up the potatoes just so it can be easier to cook and also because the recipe says so. Mm. Oh, they are still kind of big. To make them smaller, we're gonna cut them again, cut them in half again. And that's what we're gonna do because they want us to cook these for 10 to 12 minutes. So you wanna make them small enough to have where, to where they are easy to cook and they don't take so long to cook easy. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of my ingredients that I need chopped up, chopped up. Oh, I thought I took all of the skin off. Okay. Got most of it off though. So once this is all peeled, we will cut this up. So I'll be back. The reason why I am cutting up all of the ingredients that needs to be cut up, it just makes it a lot easier for me to have it all ready just because I have to keep an eye on the pan so it doesn't get too hot to where it burns the food anything like that and So I was looking for beef sausages, but Trader Joe's did not have them. So I got chicken sausages. So hopefully that will taste okay. I'll probably do a voiceover, I don't know. So I have it off right now and they're still cooking. So that tells you how hot this stove can get. Um, so yeah, I have to turn this on and off at times. So like I said, so they don't burn or anything like that. I don't know. I don't know why it's like that. I think how it is. <laughs> And it's kind of annoying, so it just takes a little bit longer for things to get done. Okay, now we are going to add the sausage and we're gonna cook that for five minutes to get our all brown.
I cannot wait to try this. This is a perfect recipe for summer and spring. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait. It sounded so good. I like potatoes and sausage and all of that good stuff. So, I was like, easy too. So, I'm gonna turn that off for a minute. And I cannot believe we're about to be in April. It is March 25th, the day that I'm filming this. So, I'm hoping I will have it up sometime in March. But if not, definitely we'll have it sometime in April. Okay, so now we are going to turn this off again. So, you're barking, that is my dog. We are going to add the garlic and the onions. Don't worry, this will cook more. It's over here. So we're gonna add half a tablespoon of garlic. Then we are going to add the onions. One whole onion. We are going to stir this around. garlic and then we are going to add the bell pepper one bell pepper there we go and then what are we gonna add the mix season with red pepper flakes and Italian seasonings Red pepper flakes. We're gonna add Italian seasoning. Mm, this looks so freaking good. As you can tell, it's not my recipe. So. Stir that around. Put this. Bring it down. Okay, we are going to add the chicken broth or beef broth, whichever you're using. I'm probably doing this wrong. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan cheese on mine. You don't have to. I don't want to. Mmm. Tucking it now. Parmesan cheese on it. Grab a fork. I'm gonna try this with you. Bon appetit. Grab a sausage. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I can taste the red peppers. I can taste the sriracha sauce. I can taste everything. Mm. This is so good. So simple and so easy, but so delicious. Mm -hmm. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below if you do decide to make this recipe. I will leave the link down below or in the comments as well. Just because, you know, <laughs> this is not my recipe. So it's a recipe I found off of Pinterest. That's basically all the recipes that I find off of there. 
If you guys do make this, let me know if you guys enjoyed it and if it was your one of your favorites. And I will talk to you all in my next.